This is the story of Hansel and Gretel, adapted from the original by the Brothers Grimm. Once upon a time there lived, near a vast forest, a poor woodcutter with his two children and his wife, the children's stepmother. The children were a little boy called Hansel and a girl named Gretel. The woodcutter had little enough to eat at the best of times and once when there was a great famine in the land he could find no food at all. As he lay thinking one evening he sighed and said to his wife what will become of us how can we feed our children when we have not enough to eat ourselves? No then my husband answered she we will lead them away quite early in the morning into the thickest part of the forest and there make them a fire and give them each a little piece of bread. Then we will go to our work and leave them alone so they will not find the way home again and we shall be freed from them. No, wife, replied he, that I can never do. How can you bring your heart to leave my children all alone in the forest? For the wild beasts will soon come and tear them to pieces. Oh, you fool, said she. Then we must all four die of hunger. But she left him no peace till he agreed, saying, Ah, oh, but I shall regret the poor children. The two children, however, had not gone to sleep, for they were so hungry and had heard what the stepmother had said to their father. Gretel wept with sadness and said to Hansel, It is over for us. Hush, Gretel, Hansel said. Do not be afraid, as I will think of what is to be done. And when the adult had fallen asleep, he got up put on his shabby coat, opened the cottage door and tiptoed out. The moon shone brightly and the white stones which lay before the cottage sparkled like silver coins. Hansel stooped and put as many of them as he would fit into the pockets of his shabby coat. He then went back to his little sister and whispered, Be comforted, dear sister, and sleep in peace try not to worry and so saying he went to bed again at dawn before the sun had even risen the woman awoke the two children get up you lazy children we must go into the forest to chop wood she gave them each a morsel of bread and sneered this is something for your dinner but do not eat it beforehand. You will get nothing else. Gretel carried the bread in her apron as Hansel's pockets were full of stones. And so they all set off for the forest. Soon after, Hansel stood still and turned to look back at the cottage. He did this again and again and again. Hansel. What are you peeping at and why do you lag behind? asked his father. Father, I am looking at my white cat. She is sitting on the roof. Foolish boy, said the woman. That is not your cat. It is the morning sun shining on the chimney. However, Hansel was not really looking at his cat. He was dropping a stone every time he stopped. At last, they came to the forest. The father told Hansel and Gretel to gather wood so that he could make a fire to keep the cold at bay. Once a fire was lit, the woman said, Now, children, lay near the fire and rest. We will go into the forest and chop wood. We will come and find you when we have finished. Hansel and Gretel did as they were told. At noon, each ate their morsel of bread. And because they could hear the thud of the axe, they thought their father was near. They were mistaken, for it was not an axe, but a branch which their father had bound to a withered tree. 
The wind was causing the branch to bang against the tree, just like the sound of his axe. Eventually, they fell fast asleep. It was dark when they woke and Gretel began to cry. But when the moon rose, Hansel held his sister's hand and together they followed the stones which sparkled like silver coins. By dawn, they reached their father's cottage. When the woman saw Hansel and Gretel, she shouted at them, Why have you stayed out so long? We thought you'd never come back. But their father was so relieved. It wasn't long before there was again a shortage of food far and wide. Once again, the children overheard their stepmother telling their father that they would have to be taken even further into the forest. The man's heart felt heavy, but however much he pleaded that they should all share what was left, the woman just would not listen. Besides, he had, had he not, agreed to this before. So, when the adults were asleep, Hansel tried to collect some stones again, but it was to no avail. The woman had locked the door. And so again, next morning, they all set off for the forest. Soon after, Hansel stood still and turned to look back at the cottage. He did this again and again and again. Hansel! What are you peeping at and why do you lag behind? asked his father. Father, I am looking at my pigeon. He is sitting up on the roof. Foolish boy, said the woman. That is not your pigeon. It is the morning sun shining on the chimney. However, Hansel was not really looking at his pigeon. He was dropping crumbs from his morsel of bread every time he stopped. At last, they came right into the middle of the forest. The father again told Hansel and Gretel to gather wood so that he could make a fire to keep the cold at bay. Once a fire was lit, the woman again said, Now, children, lay near the fire and rest. We will go into the forest and chop wood. We will come and find you when we have finished. Hansel and Gretel did as they were told. At noon, Gretel shared her morsel of bread with Hansel as his had been scattered, and because they could hear the thud of an axe, they thought their father was near. Eventually, they fell fast asleep. 